Ralph Isley was an American singer-songwriter and one of the founding members of the Isley Brothers, a legendary R&B group that spanned six decades of music history. He was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, in 1939 and began singing in church with his brothers at a young age. He co-wrote and sang on many of the band's classic hits, such as Shout, Twist and Shout, It's Your Thing, Harvest for the World, and It's a Disco Night, Rock Don't Stop. He also played a key role in establishing the band's label, Teaneck Records, and their distinctive style of soul, funk, and rock. He left the music industry in 1989 to pursue a career as a Christian minister. He was a recipient of several awards and honors for his musical contributions and achievements. Some of the awards and honors he received were Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He was inducted as a member of the Isley Brothers to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1992. He won a Grammy Award for Best R&B Vocal Performance by a Duo or Group for It's Your Thing in 1970. He also received a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2014. BET Lifetime Achievement Award in 2004. Vocal Group Hall of Fame He was inducted as a member of the Isley Brothers to the Vocal Group Hall of Fame in 2003. Rhythm and Blues Foundation Pioneer Award He received a Rhythm and Blues Foundation Pioneer Award in 1999. About Rudolph Isley's net worth. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Rudolph Isley had a net worth of $2 million as of 2021. His primary source of earnings was through his decades long career as a singer and musician. He also earned royalties from the songs he co wrote and performed with the Isley Brothers, some of which have been covered by other artists such as The Beatles, Rod Stewart, Aaliyah, and Ice Cube. He owned several houses in different locations throughout his life. Some of the houses he owned were a house in Teaneck, New Jersey that he bought in 1960 for $40,000. He lived there for 10 years with his wife Elaine and their children. A house in Hayworth, New Jersey that he bought in 1970 for $100,000. He moved there after selling his Teaneck house. A house in Otisville, New York that he bought in 1989 for $300,000. He retired there after leaving the music industry and becoming a Christian minister. A house in Olympia Fields, Illinois that he bought in 2013 for $950,000. He moved there to be near his children and grandchildren who lived in Chicago. He was also a car enthusiast who owned several luxury and exotic vehicles. According to an interview he gave in 2017, some of the cars he owned included. A Rolls-Royce Phantom that he bought in 1973 for $65,000. He said it was his favorite car and he still drove it occasionally a Lamborghini Countach that he bought in 1985 for $150,000. He said it was a very fast and powerful car, but also very hard to drive and park. A Ferrari Testarossa that he bought in 1986 for $180,000. He said it was a beautiful and elegant car, but also very expensive to maintain. A Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren that he bought in 2005 for $450,000. He said it was a modern and sophisticated car, but also very rare and exclusive. He also owned several other cars over the years, such as a Cadillac Eldorado, a Lincoln Continental, a Bentley Continental GT, and a Porsche 911. He said he loved cars because they were a symbol of success and freedom. Early life and education? Isley. He was the second oldest of four brothers, Kelly, Ronnie, and Vernon. The Isley family was very musical, and Rudolph began singing in church at a young age. By his teen years, he was performing with his brothers in local clubs and talent shows. In 1957, following the death of their brother Vernon, Rudolph and his brothers moved to New York City to pursue a music career. They struggled at first but eventually landed a record deal with RCA Records. In 1959, they released their first hit single, Shout. The song was a massive success, and it launched the Isley Brothers into stardom. Rudolph Isley did not have much formal education. He dropped out of high school to focus on his music career. However, he was a lifelong learner, and he was always eager to expand his knowledge. He was also a voracious reader, and he loved to learn about different cultures and religions. In the early 1960s, the Isley Brothers moved to Englewood, New Jersey. Rudolph enrolled in and graduated from Dwight Morrow High School in Englewood in 1962. After graduating from high school, Rudolph continued to focus on his music career. Personal Life Rudolph Isley had four children with his wife Elaine Jasper Isley. They are Rudy Jr., Elizabeth, Valerie, and Elaine. They are all involved in the music industry in some way. 
Isley was also known to be a close friend of many other celebrities, including Aretha Franklin, James Brown, and Michael Jackson. Isley's relationships were often passionate and tumultuous. He was known for his fiery temper and his tendency to be impulsive. However, he was also known for his loyalty and his ability to forgive. Professional Career Rudolph Rudy Isley began singing in church as a child. In his teenage years, he joined his brothers Kelly, Ronnie, and Vernon to form the Isley Brothers. After Vernon died in 1957, the remaining three brothers moved to New York to pursue a record deal. They recorded for several small labels before signing with RCA Records in 1959. Their first major hit, Shout, was released that same year. The Isley family then relocated from Cincinnati to Englewood, New Jersey. After their hit, Shout, the Isley brothers recorded for other labels with modest success, except for the top 40 hit, Twist and Shout, and the Motown hit, This Old Heart of Mine, is weak for you. In the 1960s, Rudy and his brothers founded Teaneck Records to promote their recordings. After their split with Motown, they reactivated Teaneck and scored a Grammy-winning smash with It's Your Thing in 1969. While Ron Isley was the group's lead singer, Rudy recorded a few lead vocals on Isley Brothers songs after Teaneck was reactivated. When the group reorganized into a band with the inclusion of younger members, Rudy focused on rhythm guitar and backing vocals. After the Isley Brothers reorganized into a band with the inclusion of younger members Ernie, Marvin Isley, and in-law Chris Jasper, Rudy became known for his flamboyant appearance, including hats and fur-attired clothing, and for carrying a cane. He shared lead vocals with his brothers Ron and Kelly on hits such as Fight the Power and Livin' in the Life, and sang full lead on other songs such as You Still Feel the Need from the album Harvest for the World and their 1979 hit It's a Disco Night, Rock Don't Stop. In 1986, Rudy's eldest brother Kelly suddenly died of a heart attack in his sleep, which devastated Rudy. After recording the album Smooth Sailin' and Spend the Night, Rudy left the group and the music industry for good in 1989 to pursue his lifelong goal of becoming a Christian minister. Rudolph Isley's later career move after quitting music was to become a Christian minister. He said that he felt a calling from God to preach the gospel and share his testimony with others. He founded the New Revelation Baptist Church in Los Angeles, where he served as the pastor for over 30 years. He also wrote a book titled, From Shout to Shout, My Life Story, in 1998, where he chronicled his journey from fame to faith. He said that he was grateful for his musical legacy, but that his greatest joy was to serve the Lord and his people. Illness and Death Rudolph Isley died on October 11, 2023, at the age of 84, from natural causes. His death was announced by his publicist, Tarsha Howard. While the cause of death was announced as natural causes, Isley had been open about his health struggles in recent years. In 2021, he was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and he had been dealing with kidney problems for some time. He was also a smoker, and smoking is a major risk factor for lung cancer. Isley's illness and death were a major loss for the music industry. He was a true musical legend, and his music continues to be enjoyed by people of all ages around the world. He was also a loving father, grandfather, and friend. His death leaves a void in the lives of all who knew and loved him. You might be gone, but most certainly you will never be forgotten. For more subscribe and click on the bell notification.